The universe is huge, so why haven't we found aliens yet? Greetings, children. I'm Scylla Conversations, and today we're going on an extraterrestrial expedition exploring evolutionary dead ends on alien planets. This is a Flornk. It lives on a rocky planet covered by liquid water around 2,000 light years away from Earth. Flornks are bottom feeders, living around 10 kilometers deep in the ocean. There's not enough sunlight this far down for photosynthesis, so the local food chain is based on hydrothermal vents spewing nutrient-rich chemical soup into the water. Florks have evolved large eyes and the ability to generate small amounts of light from a dangly thing at the front of their heads, which allows them to navigate much more effectively than their mostly blind prey. Just to be clear, anglerfish on Earth primarily generate light to attract prey, not to see. This is a flork, not an anglerfish. As we all know, given enough time, all organisms will eventually evolve into crabs, so crabs make up a significant part of the Florks' extraterrestrial diet. The benefits of cooperative crab hunting led Florks to develop large brains, complex social structures, and an intricate language based on flashing their dangly headlight things. They care for their young, transmit oral histories of great deeds, and often gather in groups to ponder the nature of reality. The average Flornk is, in human terms, an Einstein-level genius, and their species has existed for almost 10 million years. So why are they still hunting crabs at the bottom of the sea instead of exploring the universe? Because they don't got any hands. Hands are not strictly speaking necessary for tool use. If humans went extinct, we can imagine some future species of elephant crafting spears with their trunks and eventually becoming a spacefaring civilization but you need some kind of appendage for grasping things to have complex tool use, and Florks, much like the highly intelligent whales and dolphins on Earth, don't have any. Despite their complex social structures and large brains, Florks will never make it to the stars. They'll never even make it to the Stone Age. The universe might be full of intelligent life that just doesn't have the physiology for tool use, forever trapped on their home planets, until we show up to say hello. Thanks for watching. This was sort of a test video to see if explaining rarely discussed solutions to the Fermi paradox with example alien species is something you guys might like. Let me know in the comments if this was a hit or a miss. Hopefully I didn't alienate my vast audience who expect exclusively AI safety content. We're pretty close to a thousand subscribers, so if you want to help us hit that milestone, go ahead and subscribe. You can also check out these other videos, which helps a lot. See you next time. Bye for now.